So I was actually really surprised to learn that many of my community members say that it takes them over 20 minutes on average to create a new Etsy digital product listing. And there's usually only two reasons for this. The first reason is usually the seller is just brand new to Etsy. They aren't familiar with the platform at all, and they're just starting out which is totally fine as everything is a learning experience and will take time until you get really familiar with how things work and you can speed up your processes. Or the other reason is usually you are a more experienced seller and you just haven't implemented any type of uploader tool or an automation tool of sorts. This video is all stemming from last week's video where I did demonstrate my complete process from creating a digital design to mocking it up and then using a bulk uploader tool to add it to Etsy, all of which took under five minutes. And due to the response to that video, I decided to go ahead and break down exactly how I use that bulk uploader tool so that you can set up your templates essentially, and then be able to create in batch and upload anywhere from 20 to 50 listings all within 10 minutes. If you are new to the channel, I'm Bailey, the owner of Bailey Design Co. It is one of the largest digital download shops on Etsy, and I now teach others how to start and scale their digital product shops on Etsy, on this YouTube channel, and in my online communities. So the tool that I spoke about last week is called Vela, and it is essentially just a bulk uploader tool, and it is really helpful to actually upload all of your products at one time, whether you do this daily or weekly, but it also gives you the capability to bulk edit them. So say Etsy does a massive update and you need to fix a type of product listing photo, which they definitely have done in the past, you are able to go in and bulk edit all of your listings at once whereas on etsy in your dashboard you wouldn't be able to bulk update your listing photos or your digital product files in etsy you can bulk edit like your tags and your titles and your descriptions but the things that are not able to be bulk edited are things again like those listing photos and your digital product files so again, this is Vela. There will be a link for it down in the description below. This video is not sponsored by them, but that is an affiliate link if you do choose to try them out. So if, once you've signed up for Vela and hooked up your Etsy shop, your back dashboard will look something like this. So you're going to have some tabs here showing your active listings, your draft, and your inactive, just like on Etsy. And then you're going to have your sections here. So it's going to pull with whatever you already have set up on Etsy. The one-time setup for your templates is going to be done in this copy tab, which this is just a Vela section here. So this is not something that you will see Etsy dashboard. Sorry about that. I am just screen sharing this and no editing just because we kind of changed up the download and upload uh, schedule for YouTube videos just because this one had a little bit of a higher priority. So once I've clicked on copy, this is where you will essentially set up those templates. So if you take a look at mine, you can see that I have one for each type of digital product that I sell on my shop. Since I mainly sell sublimation files, they are things like a 20 ounce skinny tumbler, a 16 ounce glass can tumbler, a clip art shirt sublimation design, 40 ounce tumbler, and so on and so forth. So what you'll want to do is create a listing essentially for every type of product that you sell. So you could have more than this, you could have less than this, depending on what you actually sell. To create a template, you'll just click on create listing, which is up here at the top. So since these keywords in this title are always the same, no matter if it's a pumpkin tumbler wrap or a dog tumbler wrap, you'll want to just enter this information in as well as your listing photos that will remain the same all of the time. So here you can see I have my little informational image, which basically shows them how to download their image the image of the free designs they're getting, and then a more information of as to what this product is and what it isn't. The listing page is laid out very similarly to Etsy, so you'll just follow this along with all of that base information that you would have had on the product anyway. 
since we don't have product specific keywords in this, like I don't put fish tumbling wrap or um, dog tumbler wrap, it is just a basic how to of what this is and what this isn't. And that essentially includes all of the same relevant keywords as well. Next, you'll have your tag section. So all of the base keywords again are listed here with the ability to add three additional tags. And this is where I would add my, my more specific tags. So like my fish tumbler wrap, dog tumbler wrap, whatever type of tumbler wrap it might be, this is where it would go. Other than that, I just have to choose that I want it to renew automatically and that it is a digital download and then what section that I want it to be published to. Down here is my digital file section. So I do have some additional files that are always included in my digital download. So that is where I will add those. So I don't have to add those individually. Next, I'll just want to save this as a copy. So I don't want to publish it or make it active because all we're doing is making a template. Okay, so when I'm ready to bulk upload a bunch of listings, all I'll need to do is make a copy for however many listings I'm going to be uploading of that original template. So for this, I'm going to just do an example of four listings. And again, this works the best if you are creating in batch a similar design type. So for this example, I'm going to do some fall tumbler wraps because if you are all over the board with a fishing tumbler wrap, dog tumbler wrap, and a fall tumbler wrap, you're going to have to edit those titles and tags individually. And that kind of defeats the purpose of being able to do this in bulk and save a bunch of time. So all I'm going to do is make four copies of my 20 ounce tumbler wrap by hitting the little copy tab over there and then selecting my Etsy shop. They will continue to appear here. So I'll just need to make one more because you always want to leave that original template alone so that you don't have to recreate that later. So now that I have four copies, I'm just going to select four of them. So all of these right here, and then I'm going to click on edit. What this does is bring up a view that has all of the information all at once so that you can add everything all at once from your listing photos to the titles, the tags, and the digital files. So it will always default to photos first. So I'm just going to click on add and upload from computer. And I do already have my four ready to go here. So I'm just going to select on my three mock-up images, which would be those three right here. And then I'll just have to drag and drop them over to the front or wherever I want them to be uh, situationally positioned on the Etsy list. To reposition your photo listings, it's just a drag and drop. So you'll just drag this over. I usually have the flat lay and the main mock-up image first, and then I just leave the other one at the end. Next, you'll just click on save. If you do have videos or you mock up your digital files with a video, then you can go onto video and add your video in here. And then next, you'll just want to click on listings. This will bring you to your title section. So just make sure all of these are selected so that you can just do one bulk edit up here. And the way that I have my title structured is so that I can put the main or specific keywords first. So for this one, it will just be sunflower, fall vibes, tumbler, and that's really it. I did go ahead and add in pumpkin. And as you can see, that just highlights it in green there so that you know that that part is new. And then the rest of my base keywords follow. And then I just click save. So that just changed all four of them or 10 of them, depending on how many you're doing. So the next section is your tag section. So again, just make sure that those remain highlighted so that it's doing it all at once. And then you can enter your tags here. Once those are good to go, you can click save again, and then that will have added however many additional slots that you have. And just to be aware, you can also come in here and delete or change to later. They also do have several AI features where you can AI generate your tags based on what you've put in on your title before and what it's pulling from the image. It's not always that accurate, but it does have that capability. Finally, you're just going to want to click on your digital files. So here you can see are my base ones that are already added. And then you'll just click on the slot right here to add the actual file. 
file. Since I include two, I just select the two and then I just move on down the list and add the additional files. And so now you can see all of them have been added in their slots. So we'll just click save again. And since I've already preset the category, the section, the about section, um, and the description, I don't need to do anything else with the listing since that is put in originally when I set up my templates. So you'll just click on this arrow button here to go back. And when you're ready, you can just reselect the ones that you were editing since you're still in your copy tab here, and then you'll click on publish. You can also set to save as draft or save to your Etsy draft listings if you're not ready to publish them, um, if you're going to do it all at once, but that is essentially it. If you do wanna see this entire process from start to finish, including creating the digital design, mocking it up, and then adding it to Vela, then be sure to watch this video from last week as I time myself and go through the entire process. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.